In this occasion, I want to introduce traditional woodworks in Japan. About uh, 10 years before, Mestil Mills and I uh, visited the many traditional woodworkers uh, for the interviewing to get uh, basic information for the tra traditional woodworks. Details are written in this uh, book on the left. It, this is written uh, by the Mechtil Mills. The book on the right, we published, uh, I published uh, last year. This includes the, the title is Archaeology of Wood in Japan. This is the database of, of wood species used for the archaeological wood. This includes uh, more than 400,000 wood artifacts. And the uh, paper cited was uh, 4,600 uh, reports. But uh, I don't uh, mention about uh, the excavated wood uh, in my presentation. I just focus on the traditional woodworks in Japan in the uh, present days. Our island is small but rich in plant vegetation. We have more than 10,000 uh, tree species. Our ancestors have utilized those species to make wood artifacts for daily use. Deer techniques have been succeeded in the modern era as the traditional woodworks. This is the map of the association for the traditional woodworks in Japan. 20 associations are there in Japan. We have visited 11 associations for the interviewing. The, the green, uh, green color show the, the association we visited. We have the law for the promotion of traditional craft industry in Japan. There are five uh, standard points. One, object should be used in everyday life. Second, object should be primarily hand manufactured. Third, object should be manufactured by means of traditional techniques drafted for approximately 100 years. The fourth, material should have been used for long years. Principally, domestic wood should be used. Five, workshop should be grounded in designated region. Traditional woodworks are divided into four categories by the major techniques, as you know. Joinery, bent work, carving, and turning. I want to explain one by one. First, joinery. There are Kyoto style joinery. We say Kyosashimono. Kyoto has been the center of the arts and crafts for more than 1,000 years in Japan. Many craftsmen from different regions come to Kyoto in order to learn the defined techniques of Kyosashimon and to introduce those techniques to the local people of their origin. Therefore, craftsmen and uh, contributed to the improvement of the arts and crafts all over Japan. Oh. Therefore, Kyosashimono has been highly appreciated among craftsmen 
and contributed to the improvement of the arts and crafts all over Japan. On this occasion, I would like to introduce some of those craftsmen and their hand, handmade artworks of Kyo Sashimono. First, Akio Wani. You can see that two, two wood artworks. This was made by Akio Wani. The artwork on the left is called Jubako, tiered lacquerware box used to store or serve food. The wood artwork on the right, we say Suzuri Bako, inkstone box. Both wooden artwork is made by Japanese ash. This wood has a fine figure like you see in this image. Jewel casket is another case that was made by Akio Wani. When the present emperor and empress get married long, long before, the governmental people asked to Akio Wani to make uh, fine uh, wooden artifacts. He was uh, very honored about it, and he made some wooden box. And the best one he donated. Some was left. So I had a chance to take a picture. This is the jewelry casket. The lid and sideboard of the casket are made by koematsu wood. The koematsu is a kind of hard pine rich in pine resin. The frames are made, made by iron wood with an inlay of a kind of shell. You can see the inlay of a kind of shell here. The the inside of the casket is lined with the glossy paulonia. Here, glossy paulonia. The second, Koshun Kawamoto, a woodworker for making different tea utensils used for tea ceremony. This is a cigarette box made by mulberry wood. Original color of mulberry wood is yellowish. The yellow color of the wood will be changed to brown by coating the surface with calcium oxalate. We say sekai, calcium oxalate solution. This is a snapshot during the interviewing. The wall, you can see the wall on the uh, back. There are many, you can see many tools. Normally the craftsman makes, makes a tool by themselves. This is Japanese marble. Trees, fruits, and wood. This is another case uh, made by Kawamoto. You can see three supporting rods. One is made by pine, second made by bamboo, third made, made by plum. Three combination is important. We say Shochikubai in Japanese. That means sign of good luck. This is a Furosaki Byobu. One of the tea ceremony equipment is a folding screen of two panels, which is placed in the corner at the upper end of the tea making tatami mat. You can see some notepad. 
when here you can see clearly some parts are deteriorated. Craftsman utilize this kind of north part or deteriorated part. This is a concept, concept of simplicity, proposing integration of the spirit into natural scene. Third, Tokugo Fukuhara, a specialist for making Paulonia cabinet. Here, a cabinet with five drawers, one shelf made by Paulonia wood. This cabinet is a used, used cabinet. Fukuhara, when Fukuhara repaired this cabinet, here, it looks like a brand new cabinet. When Fukuhara makes the Paulonia cabinet, he never used iron nail. He used only wooden nail, like you see here. This wooden nail made by Deutsche or Japanese snow flower. I got this uh, sample from Fukuhara. This is Paulonia, tree, flower, and wood. The fourth, Ukichi Wada, he is a specialist of Japanese lantern. We say wafu shome. This is a beautiful Japanese lantern. Japanese lantern is made by the combination of traditional paper we say washi, and Japanese cedar. Very simple. According to him, he utilized Japanese cedar growing only in Akita district. We have uh, many Japanese cedar all over Japan island, but he only used the Japanese cedar growing in northern part of Japan because of the, the quality of wood is better than other Japanese cedar, according to his explanation. Kyoto style joinery is finished. Now, next, move on to Hakone style wood mosaic. This picture shows the Hakone style wood mosaic box. That the pattern was made just by the assembly of different color of wood species. For, the, for making the uh, wood mosaic, different type of wood has been used, as you see in this picture. Most of the species is uh, available in Japan, but some may not available. For example, Mansonia, Makore, Lengas, Walnut, all these species are imported one. How to make the wood mosaic? Now he is uh, making a uh, wood stick. First, prepare many wood stick here. Assemble them to make small bundle like here. And the third small bundle will be assembled to make large bundle here, or here, here. Large bundle will be assembled to make much larger one, and so on. Then, make a thin veneer of cross face, and put the veneer on the basic board by applying a glue. Next, Osaka Karaki Joinery. Karaki, we say homu in Chinese. It's, um, it means rose. One day, uh, my Chinese friend and I visited the atelier of Kenjiro Miyashita. He, this is his uh, product. 
He utilized uh, many different planes. Some has a concave uh, planes. When he dry the rosewood, rosewood is used to dry up by arranging a parallel crosses, like you see here. This is this uh, box is made by Miyashita. The box here was made by three three species. The dark color in the center here. Dark brown color is made by rosewood. Brown color made by Bloom's rosewood. And white line is made by, made by boxwood. It, this boxwood is just an inlay, not a painting. Second, uh, bent work. We have an uh, ordered uh, bent work. Material for the bent work is a Japanese cedar growing in Akita district, northern part of Japan. You can see many fine annual ring on the lid of the this bent, uh, wooden artifacts. When you look closer, one by five, uh, one by f frequency fluctuation will be seen. The, a kind of this is a kind of natural rhythm that makes people comfortable. Next, cherry bark works. Here you can see the cherry bark. These are the tools used for making the cherry bark works. First, cut the bark according to the size of the artifacts. Second, stretch the bark by iron this iron. Yeah? After moisten, the third, put Nikawa glue on the back surface and dry it. Fourth, roll up the bark to wood model and cure the bark. Fifth, put the Nikawa glue on core wood and stick the bark on it. According to Keiichi Arakawa, needs experience and skillful technique for the temperature control of Nikawa glue and iron and also needs experience for handling of iron. Bark surface will be polished by equizetum and afanance leaves and polishing power, powder. This is the completed uh, container of tea leaf. Third, carving horimono in Japanese. One of the traditional woodwork in Japan is single chisel carving of yu. It developed in Edo era, early 19th century. One gentleman, Josuke Matsuda, invented this technique using Japanese yu. The picture on the left shows the traditional uh, costume of the gentleman. He carried a cigarette container uh, supported with uh, straps. Here, the strap with uh, dog face. Japanese you, the three wood and the fruits. Katsuhiro Higashi and his atelier is shown in this uh, PPT. He's a Katsuhiro Higashi. According to him, Japanese view is easy to get dark color as time pass, passes because of uh, the presence of tanning in the wood. 
which is characteristics of this species. To the contrary, keaki do not change its color quickly. Here you can see the two products made by Higashi. You can see the wood disc. The wood disc of Japanese U has a strong uh, uh, clear difference between hardwood and sapwood. The cork Cock's comb is made of sapwood. Other body is made by hardwood. He utilized the differences of the, the color between sapwood and hardwood. Here, the male chicken, female chicken, I don't know, you can see baby here. The figure on the right showed a frog on a wisteria seed pod, carved from a single piece of a jujube wood. Applying a thin layer of wax to the object made by Japanese yu or jujube wood, the surface shows a beautiful color and luster. I'm going to introduce no mask craftsman and the sculptor of Buddhist statue. These are not categorized to the traditional woodworks, but the, the technique and the others almost similar to the traditional woodwork. So I want to introduce two, two cases. First, no mask craftsman. No is one of the traditional performance play in Japan. No mask is uh, used for the play. He is a no mask craftsman, Muneharu Nagasawa. No masks are made by carving wood and uh, coloring it. The process is called men o utsu, to strike a mask. Men in Japanese means mask. Here, the solid wood, in uncompleted uh, mask. This is a completed mask. 250 different masks are available in no play. All these masks are made by Muneharu Nagasawa. When you look carefully, the mask for the women depends on the age. Here, up here, young generation. And here, a little older, 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 aged ladies. A sculptor of Buddhist statue, Koke Eri. According to him, non-distinctive radial grain of Japanese cypress used for the face of Nyorai. This is Nyorai. Distinctive tangent grain of cinnamon wood is used for the face of Fudo, Myo, and Nio. Turning. We have a Nagiso Tarnari. Cerkova, Ice Cruise, Carpanax, Celsifidum, Barge has been used for Nagiso Tarnari. Here, turning rays, turning chisel, here and here. There are different turning chisels. Blow leaf trees had no raising and beautiful grain. Particularly, Cercova has fine wood quality, beautiful grain, and good luster. So that it is said, Cercova is the best wood for turning. Wood artifacts in Nagiso Tarani are mainly made of Cercova. Here, you can see Cercova tree and uh, 
fine grain called circular bars. Air dried bowl, all made by Tserkova. I took picture in Yamanaka Rakawea Training Center. Here, Urushi Rakawea the bowl. And completed bowl. Here, you can see the finished bowl for male and female. Conclusion. We have learned the performance of traditional woodworks in Japan from technical, culture, aesthetic aspect. On the other hand, we have also learned that the traditional woodworker in Japan is facing to the difficulty for making their business because young generations do not tend to succeed their business. This is a big problem. I remember the words of many craftsmen. It, it is not just a decoration, but it's worse to use it in daily life. Then you will realize the excellence of the traditional woodworks. I want to thank to all the craftsmen for the traditional woodworks. Thank you, thank you for your attention.